Hey YouTube, hey YouTube, hey. That's right sports fans. Two videos in one night because two things happened that happened today that I want to talk about and I am going to talk about the second thing. The first thing was Civil War. The second thing is that Assassin's Creed movie is finally, there's something happening with it. We haven't heard uh, diddly shit on that since uh, they announced Fast Banner was going to produce it and star in it. And this time, today, this evening, we have our very first look at Michael Fassbender's new character, Callum Lynch, in Assassin's Creed, which is due out December 21st, 2016, according to this. Now, Yahoo got the exclusive on it. I'm not going to show you the, video, the picture here. You can find it wherever you want to find it. That's Halo in the background. I moved my controller by mistake and set up a plasma bomb. I'm probably dead. Sorry, Arbiter. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Nonetheless, uh, this is a good this is a good picture. I'm really relieved at this. Uh, I heard for a while it was going to be set in Renaissance Italy, and I was like, mm -hmm. I, cause I, you know, we can all agree that Ezio is the best assassin. He is. We're all in agreement on that point. Yes, grand. So, my uh, I was concerned that it was just going to be Assassin's Creed Two, the movie, or Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the movie. I'd rather it be an original story set in the uh, universe of Assassin's Creed. Well, quite frankly, I'd rather there wasn't an Assassin's Creed movie at all. It's too abstract and too hard to, to explain to an audience, I feel. Because it's kind of a period piece, it's kind of time travel, but it's not, but there's a lot of cool swashbuckling, but it's, and there's all this, it, it, it's, it's, and don't even get me started on the sci-fi element that's up, that you, you think I've covered the sci-fi element. I'm not going to spoil the games here, but you, mm. um, I don't know, I was, I wasn't in favor of this, um, and I still kind of, I'm not, but I, I like that, I'd far rather see a movie, uh, based on the stories of Assassin's Creed, but not a carbon copy of it, you know, something inspired by it, but not an adaptation of one of the stories of Assassin's Creed. Uh, and we've got that. We've got we've got a we've got a guy called Callum Lynch who Fastbender is playing. Good Irish name. Nice to see it get some exposure. Um, one would surmise with them having hired he who bends fasces that uh, they're going to uh, he's going to be an Irish assassin. The the outfit is interesting. It's number one. It's it's. It's brilliant. It looks like it was ripped straight from the games, and I can see that being a DLC costume in games to come. I'm very behind with my Assassin's Creed. I'm currently playing Black Flag when I'm, when I'm not playing Halo, and, uh, you know, just because I need to know what happened next. Uh, and, uh, that yeah, no, it, it's it's good. The, the color scheme is there. He kind of reminds me of um, Edward Kenway. No, he, what? Yeah, Edward Kenway. He's the character from Black Flag. Constantine voiced him. Uh, it kind of, at first I thought it was very Altair, but it's not white enough. And it kind of, some of the shoulder patches and things reminded me of Ezio, but it's not uh, Renaissance enough. And now I'm thinking it's kind of a subject, I can't quite place it. I love how he's just sort of holding the blades. It's a really cool pose. Um, it's, I, I can't wait to see this in action. It, um, I, I have no idea what to expect with this. I don't, like, they, they've given us very little to go on. Okay, so this is the synopsis. Lynch discovers he is descendant of the secret assassin society through unlocked genetic memories that allow him to relive the adventures of his ancestors, of his ancestor Igira, Igilar, in 15th century Spain. Hmm. After gaining incredible knowledge and skills, he's poised to take on the oppressive Knights Templars in the present day. Okay, okay, all right, interesting. So... 15th century Spain, that's where we're going, okay? They're keeping the theme of the early assassins. So, is it Aguilar? Interesting. So, he's not, okay. So, disregard pretty much what I said in the first two minutes. Uh, maybe he is, modern day Fassbender is a Spanish guy. 15th century Fassbender is, a, is, is Spanish, I guess. It's weird. You've got somebody who's half Irish, half German, and you're like, oh, he's Spanish now. Cool. Fine, honestly, Altair sounded like Anakin Skywalker in the first game, so that's fine. I don't care. It's grand. Um, yeah, filming is set to happen in Malta, London, and Spain. Cool. Uh, this has got me excited for this now. Uh, my enthusiasm for this project has been reinvigorated, revived, resuscitated, because I didn't have it before. Honestly, I've just I've got reservations about an Assassin's Creed film. Show me a trailer. Show me that you guys are taking this seriously. Show me that this is not a ca another cash grab, um, because 
damn this like you've got like, all the ingredients are there looks like it's re being worked by a really good story you got fast bender and marion kit Co cotillard you know tally al ghul uh from you know from like dark knight rises they're, they're the two main leads that's interesting man and um Ah, I, I, and it's all location set. Hopefully there's going to be minimum CGI. Hopefully they are, they are going to be doing some out exterior scenes and shooting and jumping off rooftops. Uh, like, just you wait, man. The first trailer is going to end with him, like, finding a location and just doing the doing the leap of faith and just... Aha! Mmm. Oh, it's, okay, yeah. No, I'm getting, I'm getting myself excited for this again. But yes! I am on board. These are my thoughts. These are my current thoughts on the Assassin's Creed picture. Our first look at Callum Lynch, the assassin we never knew we wanted. Well, no, I guess he's not. He's the Desmond. He's not Desmond. Uh, Aguilar, the assassin we never knew we wanted in 15th century Spain. Great. Awesome. I can't wait for this now. I am excited. Show me a trailer and put it on there. Put it on my face so I can watch it and talk to you about it. But yes, if you like these... If you like this vid, <laughs> I'm talking gibberish now. If you like this vid and uh, you like my other vids, please click like, subscribe, view, share, and all the usual jazz, because it does help. And uh, yeah, that's all from me. Remember, nothing is true and everything is permitted, YouTube.